Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, I will definitely recommend you to give a thumbs up and please press the bell icon to get more notifications regarding the job updates and internship. Since in the last video, I have promised that I am going to share multiple job opportunities from yesterday itself. So, please subscribe my channel. And regarding the job opportunities, in this video, I am going to talk about Hack with Infi exam, which I gave back in 2019. This exam is conducted for fourth year students. Actually, Infosys conducts two exams. One is Infi TQ and the second one is Hack with Infi. Hack with Infi is particularly a hackathon through which they hire for their company. For the positions like system engineer, system engineer specialist, which is now known as digital programmer. And the other position is power programmer, which is for the package of 8 lakhs. So I was selected for the position of SES at a package of 5 lakhs. So the process was started in the month of July. I gave my first written examination on HackerRank. They give you one link through which you need to log in. If you are in your second or third year, I will definitely recommend you to start practicing on platforms like Hack within uh, platforms like HackerRank or Hacker Earth, so that you can get a proper understanding of the environment which you might face in your fourth year. So it's always better to practice, and coding is all about practice. We all know that. So talking about my exam, in the first exam which is quite easy comparatively so in the first exam they ask you about few of the problems related to dsa obviously and they are majorly based on queues and stacks implementation if you are good in graphs you can crack the tough question of first round as well many people did that but i was not that good in graphs so i attempted two questions based on stacks and queues and i got uh, into second round since i got a mail that you are selected for the second round and they do hire uh, they do select 3000 people out of which they'll hire for different positions and 100 people get chance to go to pune which was booked for the hackathon so when i have my second exam that was conducted in the month of august so in that exam the questions were based on graph and they were pretty tough uh, compared to the first one i solved around one to two questions and i got into third round which was interview since i was from bhopal and I was studying in UIT RGPV, which was assigned as the center for Hack with Infi qualifiers interview. So all the candidates from Madhya Pradesh came to my college. I had two interviews on the same day. One was for TCS and this Infosys. So in for, in, when I entered the hall, there were several qualifiers sitting in rows and I dressed formally. I mean, I wore a shirt and everyone was wearing shirts with soothing colors like white or light blue since black is quite offensive. So people who wore light colors, peaceful colors we can call them. So when we entered there, one of the attendees used to call us that our interview was scheduled and he used to call us to enter the interview hall when i entered the hall my interview uh, my interviewer was from south and he spoke very slowly or maybe i wasn't able to get a proper understanding of him because my accent is quite dif different than him so he offered me one paper and asked me to write a program for prime number I wrote that program on a piece of paper then he asked me mathematical questions since he was not from IT background. I mean he was architect at Infosys. He, I asked him about his position at the end of the interview that is a different story. I'll tell you in a couple of minutes. So he asked me all the mathematical questions that he can ask. He asked me the square root of 186, so cube root of 189 or whatever i do not remember the exact questions 
but I got nervous because these kind of questions were not expected by me. I thought the questions will be related to programming or technical stuff, but I got nervous because it was unexpected. When something unexpected happens, you it's human nature to get nervous. So he even offered me a glass of water because I was really nervous. And I had I told him that I'm nervous. And since I'm sitting from morning, I got tired. I literally told him this. When he asked me one another square of one number. And he, I asked him to give me a paper. I cannot solve this mentally. I need pen and paper. And after that, I asked him to ask me technical questions. He said, I'm done. And my face went, my expression literally changed. I thought I wasted my chance to get into Infosys. But then he asked me one question. Do you have any questions? I thought it is an opportunity for me to crack this interview. So when he asked me, do you have any question? I said, I have a couple of questions. My first question is, if I join your company, since I'm good in web development, will I get a chance to work as a full stack developer at your company? And he said, yes. And he started answering that question. Then I again asked him that since I cracked hack within the exam, which is conducted by enforcers and lakhs of people have qualified this i mean lakhs of people participate in that competition and around thousand of people get into get a chance to get interviewed by you so will i get a chance to participate in similar hackathons at your company see i told him that i am really skilled i am a potential candidate you should hire me and then he started answering that. Then I asked him about asked him about reallocation. Since I'm from small city like Bhopal, will I get a will I get a, a chance to know where I'll be relocated so that I can understand the or practice the basic uh, environment or I can search on YouTube how the the macro place looks like because I'm from small city like Bhopal. So he told me that and then I asked him various questions like how I move up in the hierarchy. I mean, how I can increment, uh, how can I get an increment after one year? He told me that after one year, you'll, uh, you'll be able to give one exam through which you'll get a chance to convert your SES offer into Power Programmer offer, which is a package of 8 lakhs. So I joined in process. And my training domain was Monstack, which was MongoDB, Express, Node.js. You might have heard about it. It is full stack development. So he, so the teachers there, basically the educators there, teach you in a very nice manner. Infosys is really good for freshers, but I really need to focus on my geek squad. So I left that company. And that is something I'm, I'm not regrettable about because i do not regret that because geek squad is something which i really wanted to do and i am giving my time and my efforts toward it towards it so i hope you will support me by subscribing to my channel and what else I'll dedicate one another video for TCS Code Vita so that I can share you my experience, how I cracked that, what are the steps and how you will be able to crack that. Even if you want me to share one of the video of my friends who cracked multiple companies like Digital Profile or even getting to Goldman Sachs and various companies, I can do that as well. Or if you want me to have a conversation with someone who is really good in competitive programming, then I will do that for you. So for now, subscribe my channel.